Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. Today I'll be talking about a mainstream academic who is actually a Fields Medal winner. Yes, you heard that correctly. Fields Medal winner, but he is as dumb as they get. Can you guess who it is? Well, let me give you a clue. It's this guy here. It's somebody called Terence Tao. This absolute little Australian moron who came to the United States and made a name for himself. Okay, here he is again. Uh, I mean, besides the fact that he doesn't only look stupid, he's incredibly stupid. And I mean, you know, you, you get articles calling him an idea of pure genius, uh, etc, etc. So he's most of the shit that goes on about this idiot is done by morons who don't know anything about mathematics. Okay. And I'm going to show you now that this little piece of crap is simply a nobody. I mean, what did his Tau, Greer, his Tau Green theorem do for humanity? Okay, think about that carefully. What did Andrew Wiles' 49 or 40 page proof do for humanity? Does it even matter that there is no integer greater than 2? for that particular identity and and who even gives a shit because it wasn't defined for anything but a plain figure in which you had an isosceles triangle and it's defined in terms of area so wiles got a mass prize so did this little moron i think he got something in the tens of thousands of dollars but here i come along and i teach you valid knowledge, knowledge that will help you understand mathematics, and you call me a crank. Isn't that a shame? It's a desperate shame. Now, let's, uh, there's a lot I can say about this idiot. First of all, he ejected one of my papers while he was editor of the Mathematical uh, Asshole Association. And honestly, I mean, you know, it wasn't a well-written paper, but he shouldn't have rejected it because it contained information in it that nobody knew. But it was rejected. So now I'm going to show you what an idiot this guy is. The previous two chapter, uh, previous preface and chapter one are basically a rambling of all sorts of BS. It's it's sort of the typical thing you'd get in an uh, introductory real analysis course where the bullshit lecturer gets up and you know tries to uh, appear impressive to his students and mentions a lot of uh, crap that is totally irrelevant, but now I'm going to show you that this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. So one of his claims, by the way, is that people need to know what the concept of number is. So he says now here, starting at the beginning, the natural numbers. Well, first of all, I'll have you know that the natural numbers are not the beginning. <laughs> In fact, uh, let me show you morons. Uh, I'm going to give you a link to three articles at the end of this video. And you'll see that neither Tao nor any of his idiot lecturers or advisors who gave him uh, a PhD in mathematics know anything about number. They're, they're morals for all intents and purposes. They have no clue what is mathematics, and Tao doesn't have a clue either. So without further ado, he says, we will want to go over much of the material you have learned in high school. No, you know, then he starts over here, so he says, so in the first few chapters, we'll, we will reacquaint you with various number systems that are used in real, in real analysis. Actually, this is a, a very big misunderstanding in mainstream, uh, amongst mainstream academics. They don't understand what number systems are. They just call them that because it sounds uh, wonderful, but they have no idea what is a number system. Uh, absolutely clueless that are used in real analysis. Well, the number system that is used in real analysis is totally irrelevant. It's a radix-based system, okay? It could be base 10, it could be base 60, it could be base 100. It doesn't give a crap what base it is, okay? Radix is the same as base. Now, uh, idiot Tau continues, but a lot of it is just hot wind, and he's simply repeating the drivel he memorized. So he says, in increasing order of sophistication, they are the natural numbers n. The integers, so without actually explaining, without defining anything, he just starts talking about integers, rational numbers, and the mythical real numbers. 
So you can read this here and see how he waffles endlessly. Little Chinese moron knew how to be a good little parrot. And I've taught many brilliant Chinese, by the way. There are good parrots. I hate to say that. Some of them are smart, but a lot of them are good parrots. So then he gets to this chapter and he says, we will forget that we know the decimal system. <laughs> okay. By the way, the decimal system is what they use in real numbers. And then he says, for example, uh, isn't, besides, if one tries to fully explain what the decimal number system is, it, it isn't as natural as you might think. Actually, the decimal system, number system is very easy. Look, it's just a radix system, okay? So it's, it's a, it's a position-based system, which these fucking idiots have never understood. So basically, in this first column, you represent units, okay? And here you represent the first power of the base, so... In this case, 10, in this case, hundreds, like so, okay? And the, the, the system works very easily. You're only allowed to use the digits 1 through 9. You don't even need 0. Yes, you heard that correctly, idiot. You don't need 0 because 0 is not a number of any kind. You just need 1 to 0. So if you want to write 101, all you do is you put a 1 here and a 1 here. That's all you do. Now you'll say, oh, but we don't do that when we communicate 101. We write like that. Yes, idiot. You write it like that to disambiguate from 11 or 11,000 or 1,001 or whatever it is. But you only need digits 1 through 9 in the system. Let's give you a little test. If you had base 7, what digits would you need? 1 through 6. If you guessed that, you're a genius. Okay, so there's nothing to these number systems. I mean, if you needed a half, you'd put... Just a five in this column here. Okay, you just put a five there. That's it. Nothing else. So uh, Terence Tao doesn't understand these things. Uh, he might have a better idea now, but he certainly didn't then, and not even when he wrote this book. And then he says, "Why is it that zero zero four two three is the same as four two three, but three two four isn't the same number?" Well, three two four isn't the same number because it's not in the same order for starters. Okay, so order matters when you write these things down. At least in the very first place, it matters. Secondly, it matters under what column you write the digits. And he says, how come this is a real number, but 444.321 isn't? <laughs> Absolute BS, by the way. So, and he says, um, why is 0 0.999 the same as 1? Well, it isn't the same as 1. It's defined to be the same as 1. Incorrectly, I might add. Okay? So, then... After all this waffling and hand-waving and continuation of garbage, he starts his spoof of natural numbers. So he says, by the way, Piano was one of the biggest morons in ma mainstream math academia. Don't even bother to read his crap. His, he wasn't a mathematician's penis, never mind a brain. We now present one standard way to define the natural numbers in terms of the Piano axioms. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my which were first laid out by Giuseppe Piano. Now, I've got a beautiful poem about Giuseppe Piano, which I think I've mentioned in the previous video. You should read it. And then he says, for instance, another approach is to talk about the cardinality. My, oh, my, you idiot. The cardinality assumes numbers, you stupid little Chinese dimwit. For instance, one could take a set of five elements. <laughs> now, you don't even know what a set is. You don't know what an element is. And you don't know what five is. So you can say, oh, yeah, well, you've got little objects like that. And you realize that you define those to be five. No, that's not the correct way to do it. That could symbolize just maybe five little turds that you produced or little turds that you produced. Okay. It doesn't mean anything. And you do not define number that way. We shall discuss this alternate approach, and we shall, but however, we shall stick with the piano axiomatic for now. So then he comes down here and he says, here's the definition of natural number, by the way. One can't, you cannot use numbers in their own definition, you moron. These are numbers. They mean something. <clears throat> but he's using them in their own definition. So... In mainstream mathematics, circularity works because circularity works, okay? Their entire reasoning processes are a sewer of crap. 
how is real number how is number realized so what you'll do is you'll read this article realization and development of number in one page it makes tau this little idiot look like the baboon that he is okay so and, and it's not his fault that he's an idiot all his lecturers and advisors were idiots too the whole of mainstream math academia is a stupendous pile of steaming shit okay and they need to be fired kicked out because none of them know anything about mathematics and it makes my blood boil when i see shit like this written and why students are confused how the hell do you know that this here means uh, that these are natural numbers you don't know that you haven't even said what a number is so he hasn't even defined number but he's defining natural numbers people wake up you're fucking morons and i'm telling you you need to wake up well you can continue to read what this driveling sniveling idiot writes his his whole tau analysis is full of crap by the way full of crap and this is still the shit that you will have to learn <laughs> look at this if you want to get an undergrad math degree zero is a natural number it's just it's just an action but you'd still believe you just have to believe that zero is a natural number first of all he hasn't shown what number is he hasn't shown what natural is but zero is a natural number this is the giuseppe piano axiom zero now there's a beautiful video of mine called piano's crepaxims which you have to watch piano's yeah piano crepaxims this video here so if you go to this I'll place a link to this baboon looking creature you'll see that he has nothing to offer just like tau and all the other mainstream academics have nothing to teach you about number they do not understand numbers they have no clue what is a number and tau if you're watching this you little bastard i hope you learn something then he says we define one to be the number 0 plus plus Oh, and by the way, if n is a natural number, then n plus plus is also a natural number. <laughs> Listen, you imbeciles. You want to understand numbers, don't you? So you're going to go here and you're going to read my article Realization and Development of Number. I'm going to open up the comment sections here, okay? So that you can read it. Only I have explained what is a number and defined it correctly after the ancient Greeks none of the fucking morons who came after Euclid and before me even understood what is a number and i'm angry because these baboons in mainstream have been attacking me for decades have been censoring me have tried to shut down my channel numerous times have made my life a misery because they want to protect their fake status as mathematicians they are not mathematicians they're evil people they're reptiles who do not care if you understand mathematics have no no concern whether you ever know what is a number or that you can actually progress in mathematics and use it in any of the stem fields they don't know any of these things so they'll teach you stuff that is actually mythology things like lebesgue measure things like riemann stokes integral things like uh, uh epsilon delta inequalities which by the way are not needed at all in calculus limits are not needed in calculus they're okay for series and sequence but they're not ne needed in calculus so okay i'm not going to carry on i will at some other time come back to this little shit and i'll explain to you more back and forth about why he doesn't know what he's talking about but i'm going to give you some videos to watch on piano so that you can understand why this is such a failed pile of crap okay and by the way one of the really stark things here is that you know uh, the principle of induction is used in piano actions but the principle of induction requires that the natural numbers are already established okay you can't use the principle of induction like idiot ta tells you without having established the natural numbers okay 
So, but he, he goes back and forth and he tries to do these things in a certain order and students look at him and go, oh, wow, he's so smart. Meanwhile, he's just a dumbass. And basically, he's just managed to memorize, memorize things properly. The amount of bullshit in this document is mind-blowing. Okay, till next time, I'm John Gable, and this is the New Calculus channel. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, become a subscriber, click like, follow me on academia.edu on this channel here, and I'll be chatting with you again soon. Goodbye.